when our distant ape ancestors got together and decided one day, roughly 10 million years ago, that they should evolve into humans, did they have an instruction manual that told them which two things to rub together to get there? No. There was a lot of hard work, repetition, and death that turned out to be completely unnecessary in hindsight. Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey does its very best to recreate much of that maddening blindness and futility, and some of the associated sense of discovery in a beautiful prehistoric world, becoming an apt metaphor in the process. Even though you'll be able to Google everything, Ancestors prides itself on withholding information on how its most important systems work. There's some mysticism to it in the opening hours, as both you and your tribe of primates attempt to figure out the world around you. But once you got the basics of how systems like skill progression and combat work, you begin a long, drawn-out, and repetitious slog towards sentience. At first, controlling a small group of common ancestor apes in a prehistoric African jungle is intriguing. The way they move and interact feels lifelike and authentic, and they each have their own monosyllabic names like Ku and Na and Mo, but they're otherwise disappointingly interchangeable and almost entirely disposable. The skill tree for your whole tribe is dressed up as connecting neurons in a brain using neural energy, aka XP, which is a cool way of representing it. But there's a catch. You can only lock in a handful of skills each generation, and everything else is lost when you jump ahead in time. It feels designed to slow progress down, especially when you're trying to figure out how it works. The constant turnover meant it wasn't an attachment to any particular ape or lineage that kept exploration interesting for me, but the surprisingly large world itself. The lush jungle you start out in is fairly pretty, thanks to a diverse range of plant and animal life to discover and lots of rivers, waterfalls, and caves to stumble across. It's built to make getting from point A to point B a puzzle, and the routes between the discoverable landmarks are rarely a straight line. Getting across a rushing river or a steep cliff takes some real effort, and it all feels well thought out. Once you figure out the confusing three-layered stamina system, you can do a lot of climbing and swimming to get over pretty much any terrain obstacle, but you have to work for that knowledge. The other type of obstacle is the huge population of predators, which are dangerous at first. But once you understand how evading and fighting back works, they're kind of disappointing in that they're all effectively the same encounter. None of them really pose a threat. Don't get me wrong, there were still moments when I was taken by surprise and a predator scared the bejesus out of me, but it's almost entirely shock value. One way to avoid them altogether is to stick to trees, and swinging is a thrill, but it's really hard to see what's coming, and when the branches run out unexpectedly, you get to go down in history as the one who invents the concept of the faceplant. Ancestors is a survival game in the sense that you have to periodically eat, drink, and sleep to keep your stamina up and not die. But importantly, it's not a game about collecting piles of resources to manufacture into walls, tables, and chairs. You don't even have an inventory outside of your own two hands. I was usually carrying a tool that could be used to quickly sharpen sticks, which could then be graphically shoved into the eye socket of whatever jungle cat or alarmingly large python decided to take a shot at me. It gets a little more advanced than that as you get further in, but not much. It's much more about exploration than crafting. The goal of all this is evolution, which, contrary to what Pokemon may have taught you, requires many generations of gradual change. This means making lots of babies, but the act of procreation in Ancestors is deeply, deeply unsexy. Not only is courtship a very mechanical process, but it plays the same one-minute cutscene every time. And while it is possible to skip them, the way to do this is just one more unintuitive thing that Ancestors does not tell you. The greatest challenge of Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey, is working out, or simply googling, how its basic survival, crafting, and combat mechanics work. Once you understand them, they become mostly trivial, and the main appeal turns into appreciating your exploration of the huge and lush prehistoric African map. Evolving your tribe's abilities feels artificially drawn out, but it's hard not to develop a soft spot for these disposable apes thanks to their authentic animations. For more, check out the first 17 minutes of gameplay. And for everything else, stick with IGN.